Alright, what's up everybody? Today I'll be showing you my settings, my binds, and my controller. I got a ton of questions asking what my settings are, and here it is. But before we start the video, actually 87% of you who watch the videos are not subscribed, so if you could take one second out of your day and hit that sub button, it would mean a lot. But only hit that sub button if you enjoyed. Alright, so, first I'm just going to go right here, I play 120 brightness, no motion blur, no colorblind mode, and then I do play on confirm edit on release. I have my HUD on 60%, and then here are all of these. So I have build immediately, obviously on. Then that's my look sensitivity at 7, ADS at 2, then build mode at 1.8, edit mode at 1.6, then uh. I have a little bit weird look sensitivities because I have a higher vertical speed than my horizontal, but I don't know, I just like it. So I play on 46% horizontal, 52% vertical speed. No boosts, because that always throws me off. And then 12% both, both ADSs. And then 0% dampening time, linear, and those are my dead zones. And then next, next to my binds, I play on custom. So here's this, I have all of these, and then my crouch is up on the d-pad, but my controller has back buttons, so that's one of my back buttons. Left stick with edit, and then right stick with jump, so I don't have to like take my fingers off the analog sticks. And then A obviously has replay last emote, so when I get a kill I can obviously emote on them really easily. <laughs> Alright, and then... So here's this, same thing, same thing. And then my switch mode is B, which is also my other uh, back button, which is uh, my right back button. Now to edit controls, I have LB as my select. So it's just a quick tap of the bumper. And then LT with uh, reset. And then I also have trigger locks, so it's basically like a bumper. And then confirm with my uh, right bumper. Alright, this is my controller. It's called the Power A Spectre controller. It is only $40, and I play with uh, Galaxy Control Freaks and Precision Rings. I'll leave a link to both of these in the description. This controller is really good because it has trigger locks here. It's three-way trigger locks, so you can go off, middle, and then full on both sides. There's also two programmable buttons. And it also has LEDs, so you pro you control it by that bottom button. So you press that bottom button, and you can change it to all of these colors and off. I like playing it on this because it matches everything. And yeah. Alright, now I'm just going to show a little bit of gameplay that I did with uh, some subs. So if you ever want to play with me, uh, just make sure you have your noties on because I will be posting on the community tab when I will be playing with people. So, just have those noties on, and I usually add the first about 10 people. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, Wait, is this the door in G1? Can I check this out? What are your guys' thoughts?
mobile. Like, I've just kind of, like, always had it on mobile. I noticed that not a lot of people are doing it. So it was, like, that was, like, almost one of the Now, if you guys did enjoy the video at all, please consider subscribing or leaving a like. That would mean a lot. Peace.